Hello, my dear community, and welcome to the house of Jinshen this morning. Um, today it's a rainy day in New York, or may I say snow, and uh, it's uh, actually, I had some feelings coming up uh, myself today, uh, as we are all having uh, feelings coming up. It's, it's almost like a little wave, like sometimes there's some fear that's coming up, sometimes some, some sadness. Uh, some feelings of isolation and so today I wanted to talk about empowering yourself because when we practice Jinshin and we turn in tune into the universal energy we connect to source and so when we place our hands on ourselves think of uh, using this light what in Jinshin Jitsu we call the seventh depth the light that connects us to source energy. And so when we're practicing, we're automatically tapping into that. So I wanted to do that today by using the mudras. And let's get started right away and see if we can shift ourselves, empower ourselves, uh, because um, we also lose a sense of, of control in this kind of situation. And when we are connected, is when you get to yourself feeling empowered and um, just feeling connected to something bigger than ourselves. So I'm going to use the book, The Art of Jinshin, for the hand mudras. And the first mudra that we're going to do is this one. It's holding the palm of the middle finger. You can hold it with your thumb like this and take a few deep breaths. This helps the exhalation. You can close your eyes if you like. Exhaling down the front. Feel yourself becoming the breath. We're not doing the breath or trying the breath or doing little breaths, but really being the big breath. This helps the exhalation, it helps frustration, it helps our eyes, it helps us to make decisions and we're constantly making decisions. Where are we? Where are we choosing to be? Where are we choosing to be in this moment? There's always a choice that we can make. Are we going to go and be with our uh, emotions or are we going to allow the feelings to move through us and harmonize our energy so moving to the second mudra we're just going to turn our hand and place the thumb on the back of the middle finger this helps to inhale just to explain it helps to inhale because the, the inhale moves up the back and up the back of the arm. So holding the back of the hand helps the inhale. Take a few deep breaths. So this one helps, it helps the inhalation, it helps the eyes, anger, it also helps the feet and alertness. It also helps deep fatigue in the body. This is actually one of my favorite poses here. So I would like you to observe as we're moving through these mudras, which one feels right for you? Which one is your favorite mudra? Because they're not really in sequence. You can choose one and practice them uh, at some point during the day. And day by day, it may change also which one you like. So see one, which one is attracting you today in this moment and the third one we're going to hold the little finger the ring finger and part of the middle finger and part of the palm like so so here you're by holding the palm of your hand, you're helping to energize your body.
The little finger helps deep emotions and that's very helpful today. It's helping the heart energy and of course the heart energy connects us to love which is very much what we need as well today and connection. The ring finger helps the lungs and the large intestine and helps us to breathe, inhale and exhale. And then the middle finger helps to liver and gallbladder energy, helps to harmonize anger. So we're helping so many different things holding these mudras. A few more deep breaths. And when I say taking a deep breath, I mean really becoming the breath, allowing the breath to be in the body instead of trying or doing it. Be the breath. In Jinshan, we call it the big breath of life. And again, that automatically connects us to source. Now, turn your hand around and holding the thumb, the index, and again, part of the middle finger, as well as you can hold the palm right here. So this helps breathing, feelings of insecurity, which also may come up in these days because of the unknowing and we don't know exactly what's going to happen and we know that eventually we're all going to be okay but in the moment it, there's a lot of uh, insecurity this one helps worry and fear and anxiety so this mudra has a lot to do with our lifestyle and I just turn it around one more time like this take a few deep breaths be aware of the breath feeling it move up the back as the inhale and then down the front the exhale letting go letting go of our fear and now place your middle finger nails together it almost looks like a heart just the nails here You can see love in everything we do in this one. So relax your hands and allow for the breath to be. And be still. Helping the inhale by touching the nails. You're helping the inhale, the energy up the back Inhale the abundance and the oxygen. My teacher Philomena, she says, abundance, abundance. So let's think of that. Let's have a little bun dance here. You have to keep seeing the humor in everything too. And then the next one is making a ring with the thumb over the ring finger nail and that helps the lungs, helps to open up everything. So just holding both of these. Mudras are spiritual gestures and so by practicing the mudras they automatically connect us to consciousness, universal energy and it reestablishes the life force in our body. You can move through each of the fingers and see which feels good to you. The mudras is where Jinchen Jitsu began as Dear Marai practiced these in the mountain cabin while he was also meditating and fasting. But these were the ones that he was doing, the hand mudras. And he gave us these eight 
to use in the practice of Jinchen Jitsu. The next song is one of my favorites, which we did yesterday as well. Place the palms of your hands together and fold all of your fingers, touching the middle fingers. So helping the exhale. You're also holding a prayer position. So you see how these beautiful uh, mudras really represent the spiritual practice. And we see mudras uh, often in uh, Buddhas when you, they're all holding a hand position or what we call mudra and they have all different meanings. Be aware of your breath and feeling your emotions harmonize, processing your feelings and all the feelings that are coming up. And as we connect to source energy, we're connecting to something larger than ourselves. So people were asking me about distance healing and it, while you're holding this, this mudra, if you can set an attention and think about somebody that you love and see if you can connect to them in this way, just by connecting to universal energy. And they will receive it. Very nice. And then the last one is make a ring with your middle finger and your thumb and slide your other thumb right in between. So you're placing these two thumbs together and then curling your middle finger. So you have to nail on the pad of the thumb. Again, you're helping fatigue, frustration, helping to harmonize worry and anger. So all of these feelings that may come up, we can harmonize them by practicing these mudras. And again, let's see again if we can connect to source energy, to the light. Remember that energy and matter are really the same in a different density. It's like a mirror as above, so below. So for us to reconnect to source energy when we practice is where we need to be. And this is also how we, could, how we are connecting to each other and how you can connect to people that you cannot be with right now by tuning in because we are all a part of this larger universe. As Mary Burmeister says, we are a microcosm of the macrocosm. And I think that is so important to remember right now because some of us are isolated and quarantined. And um, it is really important to feel a sense of community and that we are all in this together and that it's all gonna be okay. So please take a note uh, of which hand mudra you really like and practice it every day. They are here in the book, The Art of Jinshan. If you don't already have it, get it. Everything is in there that we um, talked about today. And for people who would like to see the videos again, we put them on our YouTube channel, uh, Jinshan Institute. And they are all there lined up. Lola puts them on there every day for us. So if you want to review one, it's very easy to go there. And also please share with your friends and loved ones. These are easy, accessible practices for everybody to use in this time. And everybody stay well, stay strong, and we'll see you tomorrow.